Barak Atha Yehawah, Wa Yehawah Shai, Ka Halayun La, Yehawah Wa Yehawah Shai. Yehawah is the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly calls God. Yehawah means he to be, he is, or he exists. Wa means and. Yehawah Shai is the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay? Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High. And his name means he is the deliverer or he is salvation because he is the Messiah, our Savior. Barakatha means bless you. So Barakatha, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Bless you, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders, Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Once again, call Halayim La, Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. The 12 tribes of Israel, their names in the Hebrew, their meanings, and who they are today. Because we can never go over this enough. And Lord willing, I can re-upload the Apostles lesson and in-depth focus of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right now, Satan is messing with my downloader. But Lord willing, I can download the videos and re-upload them. But if I can't, I'll put the links in the description box of this video. The first tribe... You see up here is the tribe of Judah, which was the fourth son of Jacob, which he had by Leah. And Judah in the Hebrew is Yehawadah. Yehawadah, which means Yehawah thanks. Okay. The duh at the end is short for the water. The word the water means thanks so da is short for for uh, the water so yahweh da yahweh thanks the tribe of judah today are so-called negroes you so-called negroes here in america you so-called black americans you so-called african americans you are the tribe of judah because the prophecy states that judah thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise because judah has the influence over the other tribes because Judah is the head tribe and thine hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Judah will be located primarily in North America. We got brought over here on cargo slave ships. OK. It said how, you know, from the prey, you are going up. You forgot you have an enemy. You forgot the so-called white man is your enemy. OK. You you like a, a young lion, a lion's whelp, but you fell asleep. You became docile after the 60s, all right? You know, you became like an old lion. Who shall rouse you up? The Lord is going to rouse you up. And then, and then the scriptures say, you know, the Lord will be in help unto Judah. You know, hear the voice of Judah and, and bring him unto his people. The Lord brought Judah over here. On cargo slave ships to punish Judah, but also to bring them to the other tribes. So we know that Judah are the so-called Negroes today. And also the Lord, Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, he came from Judah. OK, in Genesis 49, he's called Shiloh and Shiloh means peace because Yahweh Shai, he's our peace. He brought peace between us and the Most High by dying for us. OK. He is our peace who have made both one and broken down the middle wall of partition between us. So he's bringing the tribes together. Unto him shall the gathering of the people be. That was the purpose of Yahweh Shai's death and resurrection. Okay. Now the second tribe. Benjamin. Benjamin was the youngest son of Jacob, which he had by Rachel, the woman that he loved. Okay. And Benjamin in the Hebrew is Bunyamyun. Bunyamyun, which means son of the right. <clears throat> All right, because the tribe of Benjamin would have a close connection with the Heavenly Father. 
and the tribe of Benjamin today or Bunyumyun are the people that you call West Indians today. The, the people in the West Indian Islands. OK, people of Jamaica, people of Trinidad, people of Barbados, people of the uh, Virgin Islands, people of the Bahamas. All right. That's the tribe of Benjamin. OK, they're called the beloved of the Lord because they're close with the Heavenly Father. It tells you how they show raven as a wolf, meaning they will utter sounds uh, basically similar to a wolf howling. OK. They will sing these different poetic songs about Babylon going down because a wolf will howl to warn the other wolves and to gather the wolves before they hunt. OK. Now you have certain songs that uh, exemplify that. For example, you had this song that's called Chase the Devil by Max Romeo. You had a song that's called Murderer by Barrington Levy. You have a song that's called Crazy Ball Heads by, by Bob Marley and the Wailers. You have a song that's called Revolution by Dennis Brown. You have a song that's called Babylon Judgment by Capleton and many others. That's Benjamin Ravening as a wolf. OK, Benjamin or Bunyumyun are the people that you call West Indians today. OK, the tribe of Levi. Levi in the Hebrew is lawyer and it means joined to me. And Levi was the was the uh, third son of Jacob, which he had by Leah. OK, like I said, Levi is lawyer and it means joined to me because the Levites were joined to the heavenly father. Okay. They were the priests. All right. And, and you see, it says lawyer. That's kind of similar to saying lawyer. All right. And we know that lawyers, they're supposed to be about the law, right? Your, your, your lawyer, he defends you in court. Well, 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 people get lawyer from, from lawyer. All right. Those are the priests, which, which are today are the people that you call Haitians. The so-called Haitians, they're the tribe of Levi or, or lawyer. OK, they were the priests, you know. And you had the uh, the Haitian Revolution. The so-called Haitians won their independence from from uh, the French. OK, you have uh, Toussaint Leobertor, the military, the military uh, general. He helped the uh, so-called Haitians beat the French. OK. Now you have the tribe of Simeon. Now Simeon was the second son of Jacob, which he had by Leah. Simeon in the Hebrew is Shammai one, which means affliction heard. Okay? Shammai one. The people that you call Dominicans, they are the tribe of Simeon. Okay? So called Dominicans are the tribe of Simeon. Okay? And Levi and Simeon share the same island that you call the, the Dominican Republic and Haiti today. But they don't get along. The Lord divided them pursuant to what it tells you in Genesis 49. All right. The Lord divided them. But also in the spirit, the elect of them will come back together. All right. Now, in 1522, there was a slave revolt that happened in the Dominican Republic. The so-called Tainos which are the Simeonites on that island, them and those so-called Negroes, which were which were the uh, so-called Haitians, okay, the tribe of Levi, they joined together. So Simeon and Levi joined together, okay, against the French. They, they uh, rebelled, okay, and they killed a lot of them. You know, but that was similar to how Simeon and Levi joined together to uh to defeat those Hivites, okay? They killed those Hivites because Shechem defiled Dinah. He raped uh Dinah, their sister. Okay? You know, but Simeon and Levi, they're into voodoo today on that island. All right, but the Lord is dealing with the elect. The elect of them will come out of that. Okay? You know, they have instruments of cruelty, that's their witchcraft. But the elect are gonna stop that, you know. Now, uh, Zebulun, 
the tribe of Zebulun. Zebulun in the Hebrew is Zabalawan, which means dwelling or dweller. Okay. And Zebulun was the 10th son of Jacob, which he had by Leah. Okay. The tribe of Zebulun or Zabalawan today are the people from Guatemala to Panama. Okay. It tells you how Zeb Zebulun shall dwell at the haven of the sea. That's Central America. And he shall be for an haven of ships, which is the, which is the Panama Canal. Okay. His border shall be unto Zidon. Those different old make heads that were left in Central America from King Solomon's Navy with the Navy of Hybron. Okay. And it says uh, in the prophecy, rejoice Zebulon and thy going out and Issachar in thy tents because Zebulon and Issachar at one point in time, they were coexisting. The Mayans and the Aztecs, they coexisted and they sacrificed together on what's called pyramids. Okay. Those were those mountains they sacrificed upon. Now it says uh, Ephraim. Ephraim is the head tribe over the northern kingdom. Judah is the head tribe over the whole nation. But Ephraim is over the northern tribes. Ephraim is over the northern kingdom. OK. Now Ephraim. Which was the son of Joseph, his youngest son, but he got the, uh, the greater blessing. OK. Now Ephraim. In the Hebrew is aparium, aparium, and it means I am fruitful. I am fruitful. The tribe of Ephraim today are so-called Puerto Ricans. The Taino Indians on the island of Puerto Rico, those are the Ephraimites in the Bible. Okay? You know, it, it explains their land in Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33. Okay? How the Lord blessed them. Well, blessings above, blessings of the deep, the, the blessings of the mountains, okay? Bioluminous waters, okay? Exotic fruit, exotic animals, okay? You have uh, the rainforest, El Junque, which is the anvil, all right? Tons of archaeology. You, you have uh, stones left by Aguay, uh, Bana, one of the, one of the uh, Taino Indian chiefs. He left stones with Hebrew writing on them, Okay? There's a lot of archaeology in Puerto Rico proving they're the tribe of Ephraim and they have a lot of children. You know, Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a well whose branches run over the wall. They have a lot of children. OK. Now, Manasseh. Manasseh was Joseph's oldest son. OK. And Manasseh in the Hebrew is Manasseh and it means made to forget. OK. Manasseh or Manasseh today are the people that you call Cubans. OK. The people you call Cubans are the tribe of Manasseh or Man Manasseh. Manasseh. All right. And matter of fact, the word Cuba is a Hebrew word. It comes from the Hebrew word Kwaba and it means a large vaulted tent. And you see the island of Cuba is the largest island in the Western Hemisphere. OK. But that's the tribe of Manasseh, the people you call Cubans. Gad in the Hebrew is God. God, and it means troop. It means troop. And Gad was the seventh son of Jacob, which he had by Zilpah, Leah's uh, handmaid or slave. Okay. Gad means troop. And the prophecy states a troop shall overcome Gad. But Gad will overcome at the last. The people you call North American Indians today, they're the tribe of Gad. OK, they, they got overcome by the U.S. Cavalry. OK, most of them are on reservations today. We barely see Gad, but Gad are still here and they're going to overcome at the last because the elected them are going to wake up and be delivered. Reuben. And the Hebrew is Ra'abun, Ra'abun, and it means C is a son. And Reuben was was uh, Jacob's firstborn son. And it, and it tells you how Reuben is the excellency of dignity and the excellency of uh, honor. They have a ruling class mentality. They're also a warrior tribe. OK. 
You see them today. People you call Seminole Indians. Seminole Indians are the tribe of Reuben. Okay? They have the Mitri zone. They have the turbans. Okay? They, they dress in buckskin. They have the fringes on them. Just like the tribe of Gad. So-called uh, North American Indians. You see the uh, Cherokee, the Choctaw, the uh, the Sioux, the uh, Lakota. All right? You know, etc. You know, the uh, the Creek. They dress with uh, fringes on. And Reuben does the same thing. You know? And, and the prophecy states that... uh. Let Reuben live and not die and let not his men be few because when the so-called Seminole Indians were going to war with the Spanish, they lost a lot of men. You can look up the, the third Seminole Indian War. OK, only 200 of them were left in Florida and and uh, and the rest of uh, of Reuben, they were pushed out to Oklahoma, but they were scattered. Also, they, they're all down south. OK, you know, they're unstable as water. They they are nomadic. They are they are nomads. All right. Now, uh, Asher, the tribe of Asher, Asher in the Hebrew is Ashar. Ashar and it means happy. And Asher was the eighth son of Jacob, which which he had by uh, Zilpah. OK. Leah's uh, handmaid or slave. The tribe of Asher today are the people from. Colombia to Uruguay. OK. So-called Brazilians, so-called uh, Paraguayans. All right. So-called Uruguayans, so-called Colombians, so-called Venezuelans, etc. OK. You know, and, and it says how let Asher, excuse me, let Asher be uh, blessed with children. They're blessed with a lot of children. Let them be acceptable to his brethren. Because those Amazonian tribes are, are uh, outcasts, you know, if they move to the city, the rest of the tribe of Asher don't accept them and they get, you know, the worst jobs. They're looked at funny. OK. And it said, uh, let it let him dip his foot in oil. Venezuela has the the, uh, the largest oil reserves. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass. So. From uh, Colombia to Uruguay is rich in minerals and resources. OK, iron, brass, etc. Gold, you name it. And, and, and they have royal dainties or royal delicacies. Look up Brazilian uh, delicacies. All right. Naphtali in the Hebrew is Napathalia. And it means my wrestling. And Naphtali was Jacob's sixth son. Which he had by uh, Bilha, Rachel's handmaid. Okay, that, that was Jacob's sixth son, Naphtali. All right, or Napathalia, which means my wrestling. The people from Argentina to Chile are the tribe of Naphtali. It said, let, uh, let Naphtali uh, possess the West and the South. Let Naphtali possess the West and the South. Which is Argentina and Chile. Okay. And, and it says how uh, Naphtali is a hind let loose. You know you can read about the different tribes in Argentina and Chile. They are nomadic. Okay. They move around. For example you have the, uh, the uh, Toba tribe. The uh, Mapuche tribe. The Kawasquar tribe. Etc. They are nomadic. They are hunter gatherers. OK, so from Argentina to Chile, that's the tribe of uh, Naphtali. All right. Last but not least, the tribe of Issachar. Issachar in the Hebrew is Yashakar. Yashakar. And it means he is hired. All right. And Issachar was Jacob's ninth son, which he had by Leah. Issachar means he is hired. Yashakar. The people you call Mexicans today, they are the tribe of Issachar. They're known for working hard. It says how Issachar is a strong ass counting down between two burdens. Issachar are hard workers. They're known for working hard. Okay? You know, and, and, and they, they are 
a strong ass couching down between two burdens, meaning in the in the uh, land of Mexico. The land of Mexico is between North America and Central America. OK. And it became a servant of the tribute by way of the conquistadors. All right. So with that, I hope this is edifying. I want to say Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. Like it tells you here, read Genesis chapter 49 and Deuteronomy chapter 33. You will know who the tribes are. All right? To say it again, okay? Judah are the so called Negroes. Benjamin are the so called West Indians. Levi are the so called Haitians. Simeon are the so called uh, Dominicans. Zebulon are people from Guatemala to Panama. Ephraim are so called Puerto Ricans. Manasseh are the so called Cubans. Gad are so called North American Indians. Reuben are so called Seminole Indians. Asher are the people from Colombia to Uruguay. Naphtali are the people from Argentina to Chile. Issachar are the so called Mexicans. Hope you edify once again. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Shalom.